This country is going to hell in a handbasket, and you know it. America today is a land of total chaos and confusion. Career criminals roam freely among us. Maniacs burn down Christmas trees. Flash and grab mob looters steal with impunity, and random, unprovoked acts of madness are the new norm. This, my friends, is all the result of left-wing progressive Marxist idiotic Democrats who lie about what we can see with our own eyes and who have at the helm a confused and senile commander-in-chief who has no idea how to command. Where am I? I'm right here. Now he's a county executive in Jackson County, resident in a business uh, to... Uh, uh, as well. You know, I mean, this guy's done it all. And look. <laughs> look. As Manuel, as Manuel said, we're, we're in a situation where we've known that our infrastructure had problems for a long, long time. Under the leadership of mayors like, uh, you know, our mayor here. This is the United States of America, for God's sake. If you think he's a problem, take a look at wannabe president, my old favorite Hillary, who last I saw was wandering in the woods with a dog in tow, poor dog, asking herself, what happened? And then coming up with no less than a thousand reasons why she was stopped. I tell you, stopped from being coronated queen on high. To make Americans. matters worse, this loser is now teaching a master class on the power of resilience. She ought to know. She keeps popping up and won't go away no matter how hard the Democrats try. And as Secretary of Sadness in 2021, she gives her acceptance speech five years later. Take a look at the cash grab she's trying to make off the speech that, thankfully, she never gave on election night 2016. I guess the Clinton Foundation has run out of cash and, like her, has gone belly up. And as hard as it might be to imagine, your daughter will grow up and become the President of the United States. Together, we will make America even greater than it has ever been. Why does this woman keep bringing up bogus reasons why she lost? Hey, Hillary, I told you four years ago why you lost. You keep blaming everyone but yourself. We've had it with the poor me nonsense. You lost because people don't like you. It was under your watch that four brave Americans died in Benghazi. And you scold women in your book who didn't vote for you, saying you won't give them absolution, that they must live with the consequences. Who do you think you are, God? I, for one, have missed Hillary. She was by far my favorite. I even tried looking for her after the election. So here I am in the woods in Chappaqua. I'm looking for Hillary. I can't find her. Hillary! You think she's in the woods? I bet she's in the woods. Hillary, come out! Come out! Maybe don't come out. You think she's home writing another book? Or maybe she's still reading what happened? Because you can't figure out what happened. Hillary, we're looking for you. But back to America. The mess that we're in is attributable to people like George Gascon, the L.A. district attorney who had the audacity to call a press conference to outline all of his accomplishments. We have set a path for ourselves to turn around the criminal legal system in this country in a way that will become more humane, more equitable, and above all, will create a safer environment for all of us. Humane? Safer? Really? Not according to the victims and the victims' families who have suffered from your siding with the criminal, not the victim. Mr. Gascon, you're a rogue prosecutor intent on undermining the rule of law and endangering the rest of us. I guess you forgot to include the fact that you put a ban on trying juveniles as adults. Which juveniles continue to post their allegiance to their gangs on social media while they're in custody? Example. 
A 40-year-old man whose car broke down in the wrong neighborhood in South L.A., an area controlled by that same gang. While the man was waiting for help from AAA, a vehicle full of four Crips gang members spots him, pulls up, and shoots him at least 36 times. As per DA Gascon's policy, they will not be tried as adults, but instead tried as juveniles, which means they get out of jail at 21. And of course, Gascon will not seek enhanced criminal punishment under California law that allows it under gang membership. This D.A. Gascon, he needs to be gone. He and his fellow progressive D.A.s around the nation, funded by George Soros, who seek to undermine the American justice system, they need to be recalled and removed from office. And if not, it's just a question of time before your life is impacted, if it hasn't been already, by the lawlessness enveloping this country. And that's my open. Let me know what you think on my Facebook and Twitter. Hashtag Judge Janine. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.